I'd like to remind everyone to please make sure that all cell phones are turned to the off or vibrate position. Also, please be advised our city council meetings are broadcast on TV on Comcast Channel 99 and rebroadcast on WMGJ Radio. This meeting of the Gazin City Council will now come to order. The chair calls on the city clerk, Ivan Nelson, for the roll call. Councilwoman Tolles? Here. Councilman Williams? Here. Worthy? Here. Eccles? Here. Billingsley? Here. Cannon? Here. And Reed? Here. We have a quorum present. Our meeting is open for business. I'm going to ask David Lawson to lead the invocation. Please stand and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Let us pray. Lord, we're thankful once again that you've allowed us to see another day. We ask that your hands be involved with decisions that are being made here by those who have been elected to represent the concerns of the city of Gadsden. And we ask that your hand continue to be in the process of bringing calm and peace to the world. And we ask that those who are being assaulted by inclement weather, that you allow them to have safe passage as they go to and fro on um, the things that they need to do. We will be ever grateful, thankful, and happy to give you the praise, the glory, and the honor in the name of your son, Jesus, who bore it all for us. We ask these things in his name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The chair will entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the work session and city council meeting held on January 20. So moved. Second. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries to approve minutes. The chair will entertain a motion to ratify payment of accounts for the week of January 16th through the 22nd. So moved. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to ratify payment of the accounts. Proclamations, Mayor. Okay, no proclamations. Unfinished business. We have none today. Uh, item number nine. This is the time and place as advertised to conduct a public hearing allowing anyone to speak in opposition to or in favor of a resolution, resolution ordering abatement of nuisances on property located at 1106 Rayleigh Street in District 1, the state of Alabama being the last known owner. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Does anyone wish to speak in favor? I believe you got somebody supposed, Mr. President. Okay. They're not on. They're on. They're on he, another case. He jumped up. Yeah, they're not on this yeah. case. or another okay. case. Okay. I spoke with them already. Good deal. Mr. President, I'm Brian Harbison with the Building Department. We started our case in July of last year been no improvements to the property, there are no permits to improve, and we're asking today for a resolution to abate this nuisance. <clears throat> what is the pleasure of the council? In District 1, I had opportunity to look at the house myself personally, and I moved to abate. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Is there any more discussion? Okay. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries to adopt. Our next public hearing is a resolution ordering abatement of nuisances on property located at 304 Westlake Drive in District 2 the state of Alabama and David K. Green being the last known owners. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Does anyone wish to speak in favor? <clears throat> Mr. President, we started our case in August of last year. There have been no improvements. There are no permits to improve, and we're asking today for a resolution to abate this nuisance. What's the pleasure of the council? I make a motion that we abate the nuisance. Second. 
Okay, is there any discussion? I, I will say this, uh, this, of course this is in District 2 and um, the, uh, I had a chance to speak with a property owner and one of the things that was, uh, one of the concerns that was raised is that this property owner has put money in this home uh, a number of on a number of instances attempting <coughs> to rehab it. Uh, but he raised the concern that, uh, that because of where this community is located on the fringes of, of North Gasden, uh, that it's uh, you know that and, and and he also cited the need he felt for uh, additional patrols to uh, serve as a deterrent for the criminal element up there. So just so, something to think about, Bob. Bob, if you could take note of that for me. Uh, but that is uh, that is definitely something we want to look at. But uh, you know he was very committed, uh, and it was apparent historically to trying to rehab the house and rent it. Uh, but uh, here recently, it just uh, wasn't feasible because of all of the vandalism. So, just something to think about. <coughs> Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries to adopt. Our next public hearing is a resolution ordering abatement of nuisances on property located at 2203 Kansler Avenue in District 6. Tuscacaw LLC, Mutual Savings Credit Union, and Magnolia FBS, which was assigned to Magna Mortgage Company being the last known owners. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Is there, does anyone wish to speak in favor? Mr. President, we started our case in April of last year. There have been no improvements to the property. There are no permits to improve, and we're asking today for a resolution to abate this nuisance. What is the pleasure of the council? Move to abate. Second. Okay, is there any discussion? All right, there's no discussion. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by <coughs> saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Our final public hearing is a resolution ordering abatement of nuisances on property located at number three Peachtree Street in District 6. Felicia Griffin being the last known owner. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Um, my husband and I purchased the property. We have been working on the house. We do have to um, finish up on some improvements. But with the weather and all, you know, plus we have a little man, so but I spoke with Johnny about that. We're going to try to have that done in the next month. Ma'am, could you state your name and address? For I'm, the sorry. I'm sorry. Felicia Griffith, uh, number three Peachtree Street, Gadsden. Okay. So so you're you're petitioning the council for time to complete the repairs? Is that yes, what you're sir. asking for? Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you spoken with that gentleman? Uh, right no. I, no, he told me to wait until after, and I will. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. I guess that's all. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else who wishes to speak in opposition? Does anyone wish to speak in favor? Mr. President, we started this case in September of 2013. There have been some improvements to the front of the house. You can see where it. Uh, has received a, a coat of paint, a couple of new windows, uh, but that's basically it. We're asking today for a resolution to abate this nuisance. Thank you. What's the pleasure of the council? Make a motion to abate, please. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Yes, Mr. President. I talked with her and told her to see Mr. Harbison. 
uh, I told them on a specific piece of property I wasn't going to give any time, but to save this piece of property, she needs to get get to going. And that's what Mr. Harbor said to tell you. I'm not giving. I'm not going to give you any time. I've made a motion to abate the nuisance, and they're not coming tomorrow. But you need to see Mr. Harbison on this one because we've had a lot of calls and complaints about this piece of property, and we've discussed all the issues that we had with it before. So if you'll just see him and make sure everything's up, but I'm making a motion with abate. Okay. So that motion has been made and second. See any more discussion? Okay. There's no other discussion. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known as saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. New business. Do we have any new business? Uh, Mr. President, I have one. Hmm? I don't know. Would I ask for unanimous consent to on a resolution authorizing agreement with Deborah Wallet for computer programming and technical support service. Second. We have a motion and a second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today as an item of new business, let it be known as saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. Now I ask that we adopt it. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? No this is a new computer program that, well, it's a new computer program that's being uh, installed, and so the person that's going to be doing it is retired, but she knows the program. She's a good programmer, so she's coming back to operate the program and make sure that things are going well. So this is why we are having to uh, adopt this program. All right. Anyone else? More discussion? All right. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known as saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Is there any more new business? Yes, uh, Mr. President. I have to, uh, uh, I'd like to bring up this today for uh, discussion. Uh, it's a planning uh, lease of uh, some property at the airport, and it's just a basic $150 a month for the city. Uh, for vacant property to store stuff, no toxic or anything like that, just just basic storage of stuff. Second. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today as an item of new business, let it be known as saying aye. Aye. Uh, those opposed? <clears throat> consent has been granted. I'd like to make a motion to approve this uh, resolution today, please. Second. Okay. Any discussion? It, it's uh, that's out at our service depot. Yeah, on the east side. Okay, east side. and it's uh, right. you know, like eighteen wheeler trailers right. where they it used to be yeah, Ross Needy. Yeah, that's okay. It used to be Ross and Needy, and they just been stored. They'll swap them and leave them and all that. So that's how that was. Okay, well, that's, that's a very good point. Is there any more discussion? There's no more discussion. Um, clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known as saying aye. Aye. Uh, those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Okay, any more new business? Mr. President, I have two. The first one's re I'd ask for unanimous consent, please. It's authorizing an agreement with International Fire Protection Incorporated <coughs> for lawn mounting service <coughs> at 2010 Locust Street. Second. Motion and a second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today under new business, let it be known as saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. Move to adopt. Second. Any discussion? Yes, this is just a, an alarm, a fire alarm agreement uh, where they can monitor at 210 Locust Street. That's where the Stinsons gave us that piece of property back last year. And it's something that we just have to have by the fire code, we have to have this. There's no getting away around getting away on this. Yeah, this is, uh, if, I, if I remember the discussion upstairs correctly, this is the, the existing hardware and, and service agreement that the city is just picking up for, uh, for security purposes. Okay, any more discussion? All right, 
Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known saying aye. 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 Those opposed? <coughs> Motion carries to adopt. Mr. President, I have one more. So authorize, ask for unanimous consent, please. Authorizing change order number one with the International Fire Protection Incorporated bid number 3274 in the amount of $810. We have a second. 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 Okay. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today under new business, let it be known as saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. I move to adopt, please. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? Yes, all this is, it pertains to 210 Locust Street also, and it moves us from a landline telephone line to our cell lines. All right. There's no more discussion. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known as saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Okay. Is there any more new business? Mm -hmm. All right. There's no more new business. Uh, this brings us to department reports, committees, and boards. <laughs> Mr. President, uh, I'm Shane Ellison with the Mayor's Office. Earlier we were contacted by a representative of the Department of Health and Human Services and they asked to be on the, uh, asked to come and just kind of give a public service announcement about enrollment in the um, health care insurance marketplace. And so is that representative here? Okay, young lady. If you will come on up and, uh, and fill us in on, on how mm -hmm. folks can further enroll. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Sonia Smith. I'm with Enroll Alabama, and we're a federally funded um, navigator entity charged with enrolling people in the health insurance marketplace and educating the community on the Affordable Care Act. Um, and so we're, I'm coming to you today to make you aware of the deadline for open enrollment, which is February 15th, um, and that is the final day that a person can get signed up for health insurance um, and not be penalized. F um, in 2016 when they filed their, their 2015 taxes. Um, so we're just making a public service announcement to make you aware um, that there are assisters available in the area and that we do have fixed enrollment sites um, that are set up um, in, in this area to help help the community. Are, are you at liberty to share locations where there, those assisters are located? Um, the closest one to Gaston is in Anniston. Um, it's at the right place um, in Anniston. How can we get one in Gadsden? Well, um, I can pass our information to you all, and then if um, we could, if you wanted to reach out, then we could um, get somebody here that could be be here locally. Okay, correct. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, yes. Also, there's quality of life. Um, and they are a certified application counselor. Um, okay. they, they do have certified application counselors in most of their locations to getting people enrolled as well. Yeah, that's a good point. I think they receive a federal grant for that program as well, I believe. Right, yeah. being a, um, an FQHC, yes. <coughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. I need one more. I need one more. Take a hand line. Okay. All right. <laughs> Mr. Jackson, you want to, I'd, I'd ask Mr. Jackson to speak to, uh, I'd ask, I actually received a complaint in, um, in District 2 regarding uh, traffic accidents and the number at a specific uh, intersection. So I did want uh, Mr. Jackson to speak to maybe the top five uh, areas uh, in the city as, as it relates to uh, automobile accidents. Captain Jackson. Mr. Captain Jackson, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yes, sir, Mr. President. Uh, the top five uh, locations, uh, the location with the greatest number of accidents is going to be uh, the mall area, whether on the mall property itself or on Rainbow Drive uh, in front of the Gadsden Mall. Uh, and that's going to be 67 accidents for the year 2014. Uh, the number two location is going to be Walmart, the area either on the Walmart property or the three to 400 block of the, the, the road right in front of Walmart. Uh, their second was 64 accidents. Uh, those two, the mall and the Walmart, 
a lot of those, probably the majority, will be like private property accidents when folks, you know, backing out of parking spaces, back into park cars or back into each other, mm -hmm. something like that. Um, the number three location is uh, Hood uh, and East Megan. Uh, number four is Hood and East Broad. And number five is uh, the I-59 uh, Highway 77 intersection over by Cracker Barrel. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> just, just thought that was interesting. That doesn't mean there's not a, a, an issue um, at the specific, <coughs> specific intersection, but it does kind of give you an idea. Some, there, there's some surprises, and then there's some that are not so surprising on that list. Mm -hmm. So just thought that might be interesting information for us to share. So thank you, Captain Jackson. I appreciate that. Okay. Any, any other departments, committees? Okay, we now have uh, are down to item number 15, which is uh, citizen request, Buster Porch and Faye Edwards. <coughs> State your uh, name and your address, please. Buster Porch, uh, 907 Maryland 35903. Uh, on behalf of the Sickle Cell Foundation, I'd like to give special thanks to the city, the overall city, for all you've given towards the Sickle Cell and, quote, all you're going to give. Uh, today, we have, there's going to be two presentations. There'll be two parts. I'm part one. And this is to let everybody know that the Sickle Cell Foundation has reached an agreement with the state of Alabama to have the first in the nation a license plate for Sickle Cell. This is a copy of it. It's going to be read, but the one agreement is that we must have 1,000 pre-registered in order for the state to start stamping out these t uh, license plates. This information that I've given you explains all can be done. Um, it's a very easy uh, affair. All you have to do is to go online and follow the instruction. I can say the b most important thing is that uh, there's a need for 1,000 pre-ordered in order for the state to do it. And this is statewide, not just here in Edward County, Gaston. But if you are, would like to carry on with the sickle cell because one key element is with this order, um, make sure you have all your vehicle identification information on hand before you get started. Also, have your credit card on hand to cover the cost of the $50 purchase. This is a key element here. 45 out of the 50 will go towards to support sickle cell research and the program. There will be an additional $50, uh, $2 online for an online service. So read it over, and I have some for anyone else that would like to do it. But since the license plates are issued at different times of the year, depending on alphabetically your name, that's why we need a thousand pre-ordered in order for the state to start stamping them out. So if you yourself do not like to have one, pass this information on to a friend, an enemy, a neighbor, or whomsoever you would care. That's my part two, part one. Ms. Evans will give parts. Two, whatever her part is. Yes. <laughs> My name is Faye Edwards. I reside at uh, 1135 Glendale Avenue in East Gaston, 35903. Mr. Mayor, President Williams, other members of the council, public officials, and you, the public, 
We come today to address you and our fellow citizens concerning an upcoming event requiring support from everyone. It was four years ago that the first East Alabama sickle cell walk was held here in Gaston. Your kind generosity and assistance made our first sickle cell walk a huge success. We say thank you. Come October of this year, Gaston will again host the East Alabama Sickle Cell Walk. We need you to help make this walk even more successful than our previous one. The goal this year is $50,000. The money raised will be used to fund research at UAB to help find a cure for this devastating and debilitating disease. Funds are also needed to provide assistance to the many patients and families impacted from the demands imposed by this disease. We are asking all of you and everyone to participate. The date for the walk this year is Saturday, October 10th. So save the date. We will update you regarding time, place, registration fees, etc., when our plans are finalized. So be ready to lend your support. Tell your friends, your church family, and club members about this great event coming to our city where winners and champions are made. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. As a closing item, around the sickle cell circuit, wonder why am I, am I involved in sickle cell? As a, around the sickle cell circles, I'm known as driving Miss Timmons. <laughs> she cared not to come up and speak, but uh, I would be remiss in my chauffeur if I didn't mention her. <laughs> Ms. Timmon, I got you. <laughs> I got a question, Buster. Now, my tag is due next month. If I wanted to get that tag, would that be in time enough to, to get one, you think? I don't have a number as to what has already been pre-ordered, <laughs> but the state <coughs> will not begin stamping it until such time they have a thousand, thousand okay. uh, pre-orders. So we may we miss out this year. in the order now? Yes, yes. Regardless of, of when, like mine is not due until July, so I put mine in, so I wouldn't get that until I get the new license in July, the license plate, so. It's very, very important, and like I said earlier, <coughs> this will be the first state in the nation to authorize a tag for sickle cell. So, thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we're down to the uh, remarks by the mayor and council. Uh, ben, you want to start? Or Mr. Mr. Reed, Councilman Mr. Reed. Reed. <laughs> <laughs> ben will suffice. <laughs> Three, two, eight, two, nine, five. Absolutely. Um, I think I'm getting used to, or more used to, the night meetings. But I'd be remiss uh, not to mention that, again, we had a council shooting in Minnesota last night. Shot two police officers. Got the council all wound up. And I want y'all to be sure and uh, watch the Kirkwood, M Missouri film to see what you're up against. Uh, I see our police officer at the back. We got security in the front in case anybody's looking. It's uh, really interested in coming in here illegally. Uh, we've got a captain here at the same time. We've got a chief that sits there. But it does worry me when I see, like tonight, a guy made a move, and I'm thinking, hey, you know. So if you're thinking about coming to the council meeting, come and participate. Otherwise, don't come looking for me. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me feel real comfortable. But I am getting more used to this meeting. That's it. 
<coughs> but I do want y'all to be sure and watch that Kirk Wood, Missouri DVD. Yeah, it's, it's important. Yeah, that is an important video, and it. Uh, do we have a copy of it? We have a copy. And I do miss Billy's hardware on the side too, every once in a while. But I'm glad to see he's here, holding yeah. up that end of the building. Yeah, that's that's the only hardware you know about. Well, it's the only hardware that I walked through the detector <laughs> in here. <laughs> right, Councilman Cannon. Thank you, Mr. President. Councilman Reed, sounds like you might have some enemies, but I'm not going that way. I think we all do. I do want to thank. I do want to thank all the people in District 6 that came tonight. I see some people out there from District 6, and I appreciate y'all coming, taking uh, this time out of your busy schedule to be here with us at night. I know they couldn't come at daytime, so they could only time they can come at night, and I do appreciate y'all for coming. I do want to talk about uh, the third Saturday, starting in April, we will have music in Alabama City. Uh, Curry Doremus will be doing all the hot dog cooking this year. So you come out there and you won't get sick this time. All the hot dogs will be good <laughs> and all the water. So I just want to let you all know that you ain't got to put up with me cooking this time for the last six years. Curly will be doing it. I appreciate all y'all coming out tonight. Councilman right. Billingsley. Uh, I'd just like to ask the people of the city, uh, once a week I take a, a, a plastic bag and I go pick up trash in my neighborhood. There's just so much paper and stuff out there. People just throw mm -hmm. it away. I mean, we have got to pick up after each other ourselves. Don't throw trash out on the road. Uh, I, I just, I just hate to see that. So, so I do that in my neighborhood, and I'm asking everybody to just pick up the trash, please. That's a good all. word. Good word. Councilman Word. No, I don't have anything. Ms. Douglas. Okay. Councilwoman Tolles. Yes. Uh, I invited uh, the band director from Litchfield to come, so I just want you all to, for him to stand so you can see him. Uh, he is not soliciting, but he is very interested in band instruments, string instruments. He does a good job at Litchfield, and he didn't tell the pre-council that he's also the special ed teacher, so he's a man of all talent, and we appreciate him very much. Thank you. I'll echo that. He's uh, he's not going to petition for it, but uh, and and I think it's gracious of him to do it uh, pro bono. But he's probably do a supplement of some kind, uh, carrying wearing that many different hats. So, so if Dr. Miller is uh, listening or looking at this television program, uh, we encourage him to think about it in his budget. He's not asking, but we're asking for a supplement for him. The other thing is I had an opportunity to uh, go to Carver, and it was really by accident, and I saw where they have youth basketball that's going on all over the city on Saturdays, and I believe it will be going through to February the 28th. So I want to congratulate and thank the Parks and Recreation Department for the good job that they're doing, and I also encourage, even if you don't have any children, Go, and when children see you care about them, then they'll tend to do better. That's something that I'm always going to be talking about it at the district meeting. Last night I told them that I had come up with a new vitamin. The vitamin is everybody need a dose of vitamin P2, and some need a dose of vitamin P3. P2 is public participation. P3 is parent public participation. So I encourage everyone to participate in your city, in your district, to make it better. Okay. That might stick. I like that. <coughs> Mayor? Amen to that. I, uh, I just wanted to say that uh, the band director, we're glad you came. and informed us on the situation I'd ask you to get some numbers and I will say that uh, the council before and this council here in the city the last uh, eight years and a couple of months uh, we've put over 13 million dollars in the school system and I would, would don't know why that can't have some more instruments over there but we're gonna help you with it we appreciate you being here and uh, Captain Captain Jackson, 
I'm not making light of it because what Ben was talking about security is real serious, but could you furnish Ben a bodyguard? Because <laughs> he's really worried. <laughs> you know, it's strange you brought that up, but I happen to have a 380 bodyguard. Oh, okay. And, and I, of course, Chairman, I'll accept any I can get. Sherman, <laughs> if you'll see that man sitting on the second row with the blue shirt, I don't think nobody get Ben. He's his bodyguard for tonight. <laughs> Me, Ricky. All right. That is a serious issue. It is. It is. It is. It is. I didn't it is. want to put it out. Thank you. It is a, it's a very serious issue, and it's, uh, it's one, of, one of the reasons why we really try to drive uh, you know, the, 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 uh, the tenor of our meetings, uh, just to make sure that uh, they're, they're conducted orderly. Um, I did have just a couple points. I, I do want to thank the representative from, uh, from the uh, Department of Health and Human Services for coming out and, uh, and sharing that information with us. I think that's very important. Uh, February 15th is the deadline. Please uh, make note of that. Um, and, um, and of course, she also um, didn't miss the opportunity to recognize one of our uh, good corporate partners, uh, Quality of Life, and their role in, uh, in helping get, pe get, get people enrolled. Um, regardless as to whether or not we've figured out how to pay for this program, you know, one thing's for certain. Um, you know, we um, uh, have a great opportunity to ensure that, uh, that, our, that our citizens are insured um, and that they have adequate health care coverage. So uh, again, please uh, educate yourself on the uh, Affordable Care Act. Um, and not just what somebody has told you, because there's a lot of propaganda out there. Under, please understand the information yourself. Um, February is Black History Month, so when we meet again, it'll be February. Um, and, uh, and of course, uh, do want to make sure that everyone um, makes note of that, go out and support the various programs uh, that will be conducted. I think there will be a panel discussion on next week uh, that will involve a couple members of the council. So, uh, so again, please, uh, please plan to go out and support some of these events. That's, that's very important, and uh, this is a, a very important month for us. Um, Alabama A&M University's president will be at Gadsden City High School on February 6th, I believe it is. And uh, he will be there as a part of the A&M Community Outreach Bus Tour. I think this is something that they do annually. They missed us last year. I don't know, know why, but they missed us last year. But this year, yeah, they, will, they have uh, pledged to make sure that they stop. And I think the president is going to be bearing gifts when he comes this time. So uh, there may be some uh, young folks that will get scholarships at, uh, at the high school. So that's a good thing. So I think he's more than made up for last year. Uh, if he comes bearing gifts, for sure. Um, I did want to uh, speak to a couple of things. Again, I mean, we oftentimes get questions about economic development and our level of participation in that process. And, and, uh, and of course, you've heard me say time and time again, the IDA, commercial development, uh, the chamber, those are the three big arms in terms of driving um, our economic development mechanism. Uh, but uh, there are also some, some other groups and some events. Uh, the A-plus education is actually conducting a STEM uh, workforce uh, development forum on March 7th of this year. Uh, and that's actually going to be at the Hyatt Regency. That's the old Winfrey next to the Galleria. Uh, so those that can go support that, please do. I, I know it's in Birmingham, and that's a, it's a bit of a, a, a drive for some people. But uh, you've heard me say time and time again that STEM is uh, going to drive the economy of tomorrow. You know, science, technology, engineering, and math, those are, those are the things that are going to drive tomorrow's technology. We all carry one, two, some, some of us three. Um, cell, cellular devices or wireless devices. We, we all have flat screen televisions at our house that, uh, that bear a cable um, or, or dish uh, uh, plan of some kind that's all wireless. So, uh, you know, it's already the handwriting's on the wall. Tomorrow's economy is going to be driven a lot by, um, by electronics and, and by STEM activity. So it's in it's incumbent upon us to get our young people involved and get them active in, uh, in the uh, math and sciences early and, uh, and get them very interested in those fields uh, today. Um, so, so again, just wanted to make everyone aware of that. Also, I think that's it. Yeah, I, I think I caught everything. 
Uh, is there anyone else from anybody? If not, I entertain a motion that we adjourn. So moved. Second.